Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm here with my sister Teresa. Today we got a special treat for you guys. We're gonna do some recipes, some cooking in mom's kitchen. Uh, she let us use her kitchen today and my sister's got a couple nice recipes. It's her go-to recipes, so we're gonna um, get some prep work done and then we'll get into it. So Teresa's gonna tell us a little bit about these recipes. Like I said, these are her go-to recipes. Uh, first time I've ever tried them, but she's gonna tell us all about them. All right, now I got one of these recipes from a friend because after work, we wanna get things done in like 15 minutes prep. And then it cooks for about 20 minutes. So it's a fast dinner and that's what I'm all about after work. So one of them, we're gonna use Carve Smart shells. And Perfect. that is these these shells here. Yes, All right, let's they show. are. They taste exactly the same as regular tortilla shells, but they are way less calories. I think this one has 45 calories per shell, and the other ones are 100 calories per shell. So it's it's. So these are going to be little pizzas, is that right? They are going to be little pizzas. Mm -hmm. So we're. Is there a, a name of these specialty pizzas or? They are just tortilla pizzas. Oh, Teresa's tortilla pizzas. All right. Yeah. So, or Kelly's if you want to give props. No, we're not giving Kelly <laughs> any, any credit. Sorry, Kelly. Okay, these are Teresa's tortilla pizzas. So that's the first one. And the other one was what? Uh, just a chicken salad with all the fixings. All right, we got pizza number one, salad number two. So two for one here. We're going to get started with a little prep work and we'll show you as we continue. So the first ingredient we had, the most important ingredient is what? The Costco chicken. You guys have seen these. You picked these up at Costco. What did it cost you? Five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Under five bucks. Under five dollars. A delicious Costco chicken. That's the one you need. This is for both the pizza and the salad. And there's some left over. So we we always take leftover thigh and drumstick to work the next day for lunch. So it is goes a long way, and it's pre-cooked, so that is the best thing. Perfect. So we started step one of the process is to put the tortilla uh, onto this cookie sheet and we're gonna put some oil on them. What kind of oil you got there? Olive oil. Regular olive oil on these tortillas on this cookie sheet. Let me give you guys a look at that. So you've got the, uh, the oil there in a pan, in a bowl. And now what's the next step? Well, I'm gonna put the oil on the tortillas. Now, I've done it two different ways. I have just found that when I put the oil on the tortillas and then I put it in the oven for six minutes, that the shells get crispy. I have started out with the sauce first and I've learned that I like it this way better, so. All right, let's do it. So a nice, nice healthy slathering. Can you put too much on or is this uh... No, it doesn't really matter. Okay, but it will get a little crispy in the It oven. will, and that's what you kind of want. Otherwise, you're just basically having a taco All or right. burrito. So you guys want a little crisp on there. And I like to pepper this, and that's just the own personal preference on the shell. You I put add. the pepper in the oil? Uh, on or top honestly, of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You hit it with a little pepper then, huh? Because I love pepper. You so, do? I didn't know that. Yeah, I love pepper. You like it spicy, huh? Well, a little bit. That pepper's not spicy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, oh, is it like this one? Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Oh, you shake. Okay, I thought it was a grinding pepper. <laughs> so, yeah, like. You're not in your own kitchen. I know, I'm not in my own kitchen. Like so. we said, we're in mom's kitchen using her pepper, so it's a little different than Teresa's kitchen. Right, this one, you gotta shake, shake, shake. All right. Oh. All right, we're gonna Ooh. put this in and get it a little crispy. Six there minutes. Go. Six All minutes. Right. All right, we got those tortillas in the oven. We got the oil on them, a little bit of pepper, and we put it in there for six minutes, right? Yes, at 400. Six minutes at 400 degrees, and they won't get too crispy that way? No. That's the perfect time. All right, yes. six minutes. Okay, so everything that's here is what I need for uh, the pizzas and then a salad. So I go with two different sauces. One pizza we'll do with the Prego red sauce, and the other one we're gonna do the Alfredo, because I like both just as much. And so um, I usually keep this in my refrigerator so that when we make it after work, I can choose at that time. And then I even like to shred some carrot on the pizza. It's kind of uh, 
this chopped up spinach, the carrots, the olives, the tomatoes. Now you can also go with pepperoni and sausage. That's what Kelly likes to do. She loves the traditional pizza where I like the chicken. All right, so now we have some bowls set out here. We're gonna put all the prep work, we're gonna cut it all up, prepare it, put it into the bowls, get it ready to put on those tortillas, right? That's the yes. next step. So we got those tortillas going, six minutes in the oven at 400. Now we're gonna get the prep work done and get everything ready for them. Uh, all right, we're getting these mushrooms chopped up, getting things ready for these uh, tortillas. We gotta be quick. Okay, six minutes is up already, so. I'm gonna take them out, and as you can tell, they got a little bubbly, and they're they are ready to layer with the goody stuff. Those are looking good. They're supposed to have those bubbles on there, like that. Yeah, okay. they do. And those will go down a little bit as they uh, cool off a little, yeah. or they will. Or I'll poke them with a knife. Oh, that's the trick. All that right. Is the trick. Now we're gonna continue prep work, right? Yes. Okay. So Teresa's busy cutting up those mushrooms. I'm gonna get busy on the spinach. I'm on spinach duty. She's gonna teach me how to chop this up just to the perfect consistency for these tortillas. We're gonna have these tortillas pizzas looking good, right? Teresa's yes. tortilla pizzas. That's right. So there is right. a trick to this there. spinach cutting. Teresa's there. gonna show me. Let me show you. Let's get in close and show them. So I grab a handful of spinach yeah. and I use scissors because I find that it's more effective. Mm -hmm. And um, I just start cutting. Just like that, huh? Just like this. And if you get something too big, you can just do it that way. It saves time and it's way faster. Just work that do. bowl a little bit. You you That's crunch it up in a circle in your hand and just it's have just, at it, huh? It's easier to hang on to. Perfect. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give that a try too. Okay, and you have to use a lot of spinach because it melts down to nothing. So you think you have a lot, but mm -hmm. you don't. Generous dose of spinach, right? It's good for you too, right? Like it is Popeye? Good for you. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of these nice uh, vegetables cut up, ready for the tortilla. We're gonna run to the car. Teresa left the cheese in the car, so we're doing a little cheese run. She's gonna come back, but let me give you guys a look at what's going on these tortillas. You guys saw the spinach, but we also chopped up some nice tomatoes, some uh, mushrooms, and some olives. And I'm guessing that this empty bowl is for the cheese. Did you find the cheese? I did. And is that bowl for the cheese there? Yes. All right, so you need that cheese grated up? Uh, I do, and we don't need to do a ton of cheese, but I also have, I have feta and Parmesan. Ooh, so, so three um, different cheeses, huh? Just two. Two different cheeses, okay. Yes, I didn't use, but when I do the pepperoni, I use cheddar, but when I do the chicken, I use Parmesan and feta. Parmesan and feta. Ooh, and it's smelly cheese right now. <laughs> All right, I'm busy grating this cheese, getting a nice grate of this nice, uh, is this the feta or the? That's the Parmesan. This is the Parmesan. Teresa's working on the feta there. Mm -hmm. She's gloved up because she doesn't like that on her hands, that no. smelly feta. And I'm feta. gonna put that off to the side. Okay, we're splitting this up into we're one sharing. bowl. All right. All right. So we're getting these cheeses ready and the next step is application. Yeah, well, yeah, we have to cut the chicken up the and chicken. then uh, we are gonna load our pizzas so we got the chicken, and then we're gonna get them all looking good. We gotta put it the way we wanna eat it, and we're gonna put it in the oven and see what happens. All right. So we're getting this chicken cut up. How does this process go down? Uh, well, first I take the skin off. Okay. And you know, for me at home, there's even another use. I make dog food for my dog. So I use chicken and rice, and I always put cut the skin up for the dog. Oh, but nice. um, we do not eat the skin. Let me take a look at this up close. So this is how you do it. You just take a nice chunk of the breast out there and uh, cut it up into little pieces there, huh? Yep, I cube it up. Ooh, nice knife work there. Yeah. And the chicken is hot, just so you know. It's hot steamy. from the Costco oven, right? <laughs> Straight from the Costco oven. Okay. It's one of those $4.99 chickens. Yes. Making the most of it. A chicken from Costco goes like, you can make three or four meals with a Costco chicken. Yeah. That's the goal here, to try to get as many meals out of this chicken as we can, huh? Yeah, and I even will boil the chicken carcass to make soup, soup stock. Oh, yeah. So it goes even further when I do that, but I have Three to meals of soup and the dogs eat too, right? That is right. <laughs> 
All right, so we have all the condiments here. We have the tortilla set out, and Teresa's gonna dress those up really nice. Okay, so we're gonna do one pizza with the Alfredo sauce and one with the marinara sauce. So I'm reusing this. Well, so I don't have to wash it. Um, now for me, I like to put the sauce, and you have to the very edge. You, it just tastes better when you get everything with the sauce. So a nice, generous application there. Yeah. So one Alfredo and the other marinara. marinara. Okay. And you know what? I'm just gonna re-dip. All right, we won't tell. We won't tell anyone. <laughs> I like both sauces. If someone really hated, or you know, the white sauce, I wouldn't do that. But since both are good, mm -hmm. equally good to me. Yeah. I will do both. So you don't have a favorite of these either. Uh, you, you'll eat, eat them both, huh? I do eat them both. I, you know, I kind of prefer the Alfredo mm -hmm. myself, but um, I, I do love both. What? So, why the Alfredo? I, don't, I just like it better with chicken. Oh, it goes, good combo. But with spinach, believe it or not, the marinara goes really well with the taste of the spinach. Mm -hmm. so. All right, we're getting those ready. They're almost ready to be dressed up with the condiments, right? Yes. What goes on next? The spinach. Spinach, okay. You would think cheese, but cheese goes on last. Mm -hmm. So, I am ready and I'm gonna do the spinach. So you're getting that spinach on there. I am, and I like to use a lot of spinach because it turns to nothing mm -hmm. when you get it in the oven. It wilts to just barely anything, so. You keep that oven at 400 when you keep cook it, it as well? Keep it at 400, mm -hmm. and when you put it in, you can put it in for 12 to 15 minutes. So I always set the timer for 12, and then I just kind of watch it and see if, um, the cheese is melted mm -hmm. if it looks done because everything is pre-cooked for the meat there you don't have to have it in there longer to cook the meat so 12 minutes then get, take a look at it and see how it's looking and if yeah. it needs a little extra you let it go a little extra you want it to see a little bubbling going All on right. before you take it out okay so we decided we're going to put a few carrots on there you're going to grate a few little carrots so let's get a shot of this you like to add a little crunch on there Does well i there? i think it just looks pretty I don't know. So this is more for presentation it's than... It's a little the, sweet right. added, but I just think it looks... See, look at the how the carrot looks with the spinach. Oh, I yeah. I just think it's pretty. And you put that on both of them, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you don't like it, you can't taste it, so... Yeah. You get a little extra veggie. Mm-hmm. It's great if you want to slip it to your kids. Slipping a little veggies there. Yes. Trick, trick for all you moms out there, right? That's right. Did you do this with your kids that are growing up? S <laughs> sneak some carrots. Yes. Sneak some carrots I in the meals. I had to sneak the veggies in wherever I could. Mm -hmm. That does look nice with those carrots on there. Nice, nice pop of color. Yeah. Well, up next, we're gonna put the rest of our condiments on there, or mushrooms and olives and tomatoes. So we're doing mushrooms right now. Mm -hmm. And is there any specific order in you do this? Or you just uh, yeah. pick a bowl and put I them on? I just pick a bowl and throw it on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband says I load them up too, too high, mm -hmm. but it all kind of melts down. It looks like you're having a lot on there, but it's all veggies, right. except for the chicken. So it all melts together nicely. Yeah. 12 minutes it goes in the oven, you said? 12 minutes, oh. and, and then it can go 16 minutes. It depends on how bubbly and cooked you want it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could eat it now if you want it to <laughs> be a salad. <laughs> so we're putting that last condiment on there is a little dash of tomatoes. You like to put those on top? Yes, and then I do the cheese and then the chicken. All right, so we got a few more. Those are looking delicious already. Yeah. The last thing is the cheese and the chicken. And you know, I'm gonna do the feta first so that I can see how much I'm putting on. 
feta first and then Parmesan? Yes. Right. I like the feta. It really does a lot for the pizza. Man, you pile in that thing full. I know. Now you got this recipe from Kelly, and Kelly's like a, a longtime friend of yours. Yes. Right? We'll give her a little credit now. Yeah. And uh, she, she told you about this originally, and then you made it your own, huh? Yes, she does it like the original pizza with pepperoni and sausage and all that, and I opted to do chicken. Okay, so keep, I, it, keep it a little healthy. That is right. I must say, I am starting to get hungry. All of this I delicious know. food in front of me. Hope I these turn out good. We'll if these don't turn out good, you're going to hear about it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to use the rest of the cheese up so we don't... Now am I ready to... Yeah, you're still going. Okay. See, and I wish I would have had my glove on because I don't like to touch the chicken, but I will do it this way. Last, my hands are clean. But not least, a little chicken on top. Is there still room? Man, those things are jam-packed. Yes, and I think that is all the chicken we're going to use. We'll save the rest to make salad. All right. Okay. Two okay. meals in one, so the salad is next. Now we're going to put these in the oven, and we're going to have to wait 12 to 16 minutes to eat our lunch. All right, into the oven. 12 to 16 minutes it stays in there. All right. Okay. It's going to come out looking good. It is. You feel good about this? I feel is, good about uh, it. You're confident it's going to be good? Yes, uh, I know it's going to be good. This like a five star? It is a five star. Okay. I could eat this at least three times a week. Oh, you're selling it good I now. Know. It better be delicious. I know, right? <laughs> so now that we got those uh, Teresa's uh, tortilla pizzas cooking in the oven, 12 minutes they're going to go, we're going to get busy on uh, chopping up some lettuce and more spinach more spinach we're gonna make this salad uh, this is two meals in one you can get out of this chicken well we talked about it multiple meals but we're focusing on these two meals the pizzas and the salad so we're gonna begin the salad portion of the video so Teresa is busy chopping that lettuce up nice and fine yes I like our finely chopped salad All right. everybody's mm -hmm. different but I like it and you go with the iceberg I go with the iceberg and then the spinach. I okay. mix the two together. Okay. You blend the world. I huh? do, because the spinach has the nutrients and the iceberg has the crunch. Oh, that's true. We want that crunch factor, right? We do. Okay. Well, if you put it together, put it in the juice bowl. Ooh, it's beer time. Root beer. <laughs> so we got a little leftover chicken there. She just chopped up that iceberg lettuce nice and fresh and some more spinach. So this spinach and the iceberg lettuce will become one here. Shortly, we're gonna work on making this salad delicious. Uh, Mom wants to have a little of this salad, right? Yeah. All right, so Teresa's getting into these cans. This is the next two ingredients in this salad. What do we got going on here? Well, now I chose pinto beans, chili pinto beans for on top of the salad, but you can do any kind of bean. I do black bean a lot of times too. And then I personally like pickled beets on the salad. Ooh, pickled beets, huh? A lot of times you don't even need dressing when you use pickled beets because they have so much flavor. And they're good for you too. They right? are really good for yeah. you. Wow, I did not Look at know those that. Pinto beans. So mom is here. She's gonna have dinner with us, and uh, I talked her into a little cameo. You guys might have seen her in some of my videos. She's been in my storage unit videos. We did a walk through uh, Jennings Park. Was it Jennings Park? Yeah, she's yes. over there. Jennings Park. That one was quite popular. A lot of people watched that one. And uh, she's made a regular appearance on the channel, so uh, she was uh, chiming in with her uh, commentary. So I thought I would talk her into getting on camera and telling us a little bit about what she thinks of this process. So we have all the ingredients here. What do you think of this meal Teresa is preparing for us? Well, it's very colorful. Uh -huh. And I need to be here because I have to show her where everything is in my kitchen. Yeah. Because she never really cooks here. So you have to take that in consideration too. She asks, oh, I need a knife or I need a hot pad or I need this. That's why I'm here. Oh, that's... And I uh, have to remind Teresa that dad, her dad loved pickled bees. Pickled bees. And that's because uh, Grandma Kingsbury used to can 
pickled beets and they were so good. But Ventricio and, and you, for that matter, were younger. You, I don't like pickled oh, beets. Oh, yeah. But now I see she uses it in her cooking like an adult. Yeah, well now I like everything. But yeah. back then I did not like pickled beets. But now <laughs> I love them. And they're so colorful and they add a lot of flavor to a lot of things. I, I love them too. But, uh, you know, Grandma doesn't make them anymore. There's we buy them now. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's the bowl that we're going to use to plate the salad. Teresa had us some additional information about this salad she wanted to share. So when we have the salad for our main meal, that's all we're going to have. I like to make some rice in the rice cooker and put a few scoops of rice first. Because for one, it fills you up and it tastes really good with the salad. It's kind of like hot and cold salad. So, uh, but today I'm not doing the rice. I still am having all the other ingredients. I just did not do the rice. Since we have the pizza, we don't really need the rice no. as an additional carb. We're not carbo loading here. We want to keep it light today, huh? That's right. All right. This is not how to peel a cucumber with a big giant knife like that. Is definitely not the safest thing to do, but I didn't want to dirty another knife. Do not try this at home, folks. <laughs> Definitely not. Do not try this at home. This is an expert cutting <laughs> routine here. Now you can take the seeds out of the cucumber for the salad, but I keep the seeds in. Some people don't like the seeds, but it doesn't bother me one bit. Mm -hmm. So we're just uh, cutting up this cucumber. This is for the salad as well, yes. right? Yes. It already, we got lettuce, we got chicken, we got cucumber, we got spinach, we got beets. Those we beans, got beans, we got little beans. Yeah. You, do you throw those uh, tomatoes and um, I mushrooms I and it. olives? And I love the olives on there too. All right, a whole smorgasbord. Yes. All right, it's all welcome. It's what? It's all welcome. It is all welcome. <laughs> all right, so we're ready to take a look at what the pizza is doing in the oven. Ooh, this is 12 minutes, it's coming this out. This is 12 minutes, we'll and give you it an know, eye. I think it is ready. Let me I mean, zoom in on there. You think they're looking good? They're looking... They are looking good. The cheese is melted. Um, we can leave it in for two more minutes to make sure that the feta and the uh, Parmesan cheese get totally melted together. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it is ready to eat now, but let's give it two more minutes before we eat it. All right, a couple more minutes, then it'll come out of the oven. So we just said with that pizza ready to come out of the oven, everybody is getting really hungry and we're ready to de devour that pizza, but we wanna get this uh, salad ready as well. So we're gonna continue to uh, put that together and show you guys exactly how we do it. Oh, and it smells so good in the house. I just went upstairs and it, I need to come downstairs and start eating. I'm getting hungry. What are you yes. smelling? Are you smelling the cheeses? You're smelling those beets? Ooh, what are you everything, smelling? Everything. Everything. It's a nice, delicious really aroma. Good. Yeah, and nice and yeah, warm. <laughs> so the salad basically, you just load it up and it's ready. I mean, it's really, you just have everything chopped up, ready to go. And so I like to mix the iceberg lettuce with the spinach and uh so with the salad obviously the prep work is the tip, most difficult part right it putting, is. It, putting it all together is just look, getting it looking good yeah, on the bowl yeah you get it to look pretty and you just put a little little spinach on top of the, uh, the iceberg yes and well i did the whole rest of the spinach in there it's actually oh, a lot okay. of spinach and then you go I, with the mushrooms yes Ooh, a little tomat on there. Yeah, it's really good. Those are those little ones, right? Those are the little baby the little cherry tomatoes cherry? or cherry tomatoes. What are that? Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. And then we'll do the olives. Now, you ever put any spicy olives on here? Or you like to keep it... Uh... I, you know, you can. I have just black olives in the house. I tend to cook with whatever I have. Mm -hmm. So, now... So, if you want to spice it up, you could go with those jalapeno oh, you olives. You can, yes. My husband puts... Jalapenos on there and pepperoncinis. I do not, but you can do it. I like it. It's just too spicy for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll put this cucumber Ooh, on Ooh, those cubes to, cube to top it off. Yeah, cukes are very fresh. And then what's really good on this salad, what makes it delicious, are the beans adds a little protein and mm -hmm. I picked the chili beans this time the pinto chili beans right and then you add the 
pickled beets. And I am salivating looking at this salad <laughs> right now. It's so good and I'm so hungry. Wow, look at that. That says a lot. It does have a lot of nice color. Yep, and now it is ready to eat. Here it is, the completed salad, ready to be eaten. We've got those beets on the top there. Everything is looking delish. And I'll put this back in the bag, what I don't eat. But you know, just it's all about the presentation. A little carrot on top to add to presentation. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it is nice. It is a, it's almost too good to eat, but we're gonna find a way to eat that. Yeah. Let's get it done. I'm ready. Yes. You ready? Eight smakalik. Oh. Do you second that? Eight smakalik? I second that. Eight smakalik or bon appetit. Oh, you know so many languages. I know. <laughs> Here they come out of the oven, fresh and ready. We gave it a couple extra minutes to make sure that everything was melted in nicely. Now we're going to cut it up. You ready to cut it? I am ready to cut it. All right, we're going to cut that up. We're going to get it plated and we're going to devour those nice pizzas. Teresa's tortilla pizzas, right? That is right. Not Kelly? No, well, we'll give Kelly kudos. <laughs> Kelly definitely has kudos. Oh, I'm hungry. I know. Excited, Mom? Yeah, I'm hungry. Ooh, let's go. Looks really good. It's going to be messy, I can tell. You <laughs> definitely need a fork to pick up the leftover yeah. pieces. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be yummy. Oh, and listen to it sizzle. I hear that. You guys hear that sizzle? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice ASMR right there. Yeah, let's uh, let's get a okay here. Oh. All right, There's here they are. Plate them up. Mom's got the plates ready. And one Alfredo and one marinara. Yeah, one marinara. Ow! Ooh, well, let's get that. Is hot, hot, hot! <laughs> All right, we've gone with the spatula now. Much better. It's a little too hot for it's the fingers. Too hot mm -hmm. for the fingers. Okay, looking good. Okay. So we're going to get a plate hand. ready for each of us and then we'll get our uh, a response to this uh, pizza to see if it's really as good as Teresa says. That's right. All right, we got the ladies here ready to take their first bites. All right, who's going first? Okay, uh, well, I've never had this before. So go and ahead. I will be very honest if this tastes good. It's hot. <laughs> All right, your honest put input. What's your reaction? Mm, it's very tasty. You have good. the is that the Alfredo or the marinara you had? Uh, you this have is the, the Alfredo. 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 It's very good. It's um, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It's very satisfying. What do you taste yeah. first? What's the first ingredient that get, that comes to mind there? The chicken. The chicken. The chicken it's is the prominent. The texture of the chicken mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it tastes totally different than uh, like a pepperoni pizza. Oh, yeah. It's much more gourmet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Delicious. And you've had this before. I what do you, how did know you... that I have this. And I picked the Alfredo one first because I, I like that one the mm -hmm. best. Oh, and I also like, what I like about it is the really crunchy, thin, extra thin mm -hmm. crust to, uh -huh. hold, uh, to get that crunch mm -hmm. from the crust. Mm -hmm. And did this one turn up to your expectations? How's it taste? Tastes good. The only thing I could think of is I could have put a little basil on it. But you don't have to overdo it, but I love basil on it. I just uh, dropped my last piece. So I'm gonna go with the finger. Oh Treatment. yeah, do it. Hey. Yeah. It's not like it's the still, whole whole world isn't watching. It's still <laughs> uh, kind of hot, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I was hungry, mm -hmm. so maybe a fork would be good. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab a fork, we're going to finish off these pizzas, and then I'm going to try it and get my reaction. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is kind of a new segment that we do. I'm a reseller. Most of my content is reselling related. So if you like that sort of thing, be sure to like the channel. But this cooking a segment, this is something new. This is something my sister suggested. Of course, I took her up on it because I'm looking to get content. I'm looking to build my channel, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours. So if you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. Come on back. We might do some more of these. Who knows, but I'm gonna get into this pizza and I'm gonna let you guys know how it really is. All right, like I said, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna give an honest opinion what I think. And you want me to start with the marinara first? Yes. All right, we got the marinara here, you can see it. Coming in on you. Filled it in, look at all that chicken, all that feta. I see that spinach, that did melt down to almost nothing. We got the olives on there, we got the tomato sauce, the marinara sauce rather. 
tomatoes, little olives in there. Okay, let's try it. Good, it's good. I taste the marinara, I taste that chicken. Like mom said, that chicken is probably the first thing that grabs your taste buds. I do get a little hint of that spinach and uh, the feta. I mean, it's all in there. One bite full, you, you taste it all in one bite. But let's try another. <clears throat> so if you're like me, you have a big mouth, you can devour this thing in no time at all. The that Kingsberries, is... we're known for that. Big mouth, yes. you can eat fast. <laughs> that is right. That's right. Yeah. It's very good, Teresa, very good. I'm gonna try this next one and I'm gonna let you know how the Alfredo is next. We got the Alfredo here next. Um, just the same type of condiments on top of this one, just the Alfredo base, right? Yes. All right, let's see how you, you like the Alfredo. Better. I do love the Alfredo. It's, the Alfredo is a little milder. Mm -hmm. The marinara is a little spicy. I just got a nice pop of that cherry tomato. Ooh, mm -hmm. so good. sweet, yeah. yeah. That was a good, good I, little tomato. Those little tomatoes are tasty. Hmm? Yeah, that's why I get the cherry tomatoes. They have more flavor on pizza. Big pieces of chicken, I think that, that adds to it. I mean, that's mm -hmm. where all the flavor is, I think. Yeah. In that Costco chicken, that $4.99 Costco, you can't beat that, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah, I definitely give you five stars on this one, Teresa. You did an yeah. excellent job. Thank you, Thanks, Kelly. Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. We'll thank her now. <laughs> now that we're done, but I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank my mom for coming along and providing a little color commentary on all this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you'll be back for more in the future. Till next time, we'll see you on the next one.